Hello everyone, uh, I just want to say that I am scared to make this video. I debated back and forth about making this video, but um, I think at the end of the day, it is best for me to put my opinion out there and to stick to my morals, and I honestly didn't feel comfortable continuing the channel without saying what I want to say and putting this out there. I just wanted to make a short video explaining what my opinion is and what happened. Also, before I get into this, I want to give you some context. Um, I am coming at this from a 21-year-old man uh, living in the United States who has personally seen uh, the politics going on and um, has lived through this. Uh, so that is where I'm coming from. I just don't want there to be any more hate. I'm very scared to make this video <laughs> because there's been a lot of hate on both sides, um, but this is what I need to do. And uh, I want to do this with love rather than hate, so um, I hope you stick around. So if you don't know this weekend, some screenshots were released uh, showing that Scott Cawthon has donated a lot of money to a bunch of Republicans, conservative politicians. And obviously, since this fan base is, is very, very inclusive and uh, is very LGBTQ plus friendly, um, people took issue to that. Uh, people were really angry. People were justifiably upset. Um, people took things way too far, and before I even get to, into that, I just want to say that I do not condone any sort of doxing or, or ruining of life or death threats. I hate that. You do not belong in this community or on the internet if you are doing something like that. That is taking it way too far, and I absolutely do not condone those things, obviously. But uh, with those people who are justifiably upset and angry, uh, there were people who rushed to defend Scott, uh, and justifiably as well. I mean, these screenshots were real, but some people, I can see how they maybe thought these were faked, maybe thought they were fabricated, because everyone's like, oh, Scott's always been a good person, and he's always you know been very inclusive there's no way he's donated to these people who who have actively uh, hated on the LGBTQ plus community like these are politicians who actively uh, try and take away the rights of LGBTQ plus people but yeah some people thought these might have been uh, fake and there was one thing that came out where uh, people might have thought that Scott got scammed because there was a website that was uh, illegally taking donations from people and they had to refund uh, people back because they overtook what uh, the people said they would give uh, so people maybe thought oh maybe he was scammed by this one website that he went through it turns out that this was real uh, he wasn't scammed and um, he really did make these donations to these terrible people. And when I say terrible people, I don't mean all Republicans are terrible people. Uh, politicians are just not the best, and these are really, really not the best uh, politicians. So, uh, Twitter blew up. Uh, people were defending Scott. I feel like more people were not defending Scott at that point. I feel like more people were either uh, convinced that it wasn't real or... Um, giving Scott the benefit of the doubt, or they were justifiably upset. So about a day goes by, and uh, this is still going on on Twitter. People are still upset. Uh, there's people on both sides defending Scott and people, um, you know, being justifiably angry or way too angry at Scott, which I do not condone once again. And then all of a sudden, Scott posts a long Reddit post on the FNAF Reddit uh, about the situation and his opinion on the situation. And before I say this, I want to say that a lot of people were saying this is a breach of his privacy and this is this was never supposed to come out and this is just private information that should have never been released and i just want to say to that uh political donations are public information um and i think it is reasonable for people to look up who the people they deeply look up to are donating to i don't think this was a breach of his privacy I think uh, it, it's public information and someone was curious and they, you know, put it out there on Twitter, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> so I'm not going to read you Scott's post. I'll put it in the description of this video if you want to check it out, if you haven't already. Um, Scott's post was titled, My Response and Maybe Last Post. And when I saw that, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that he said he may never post on the FNAF Reddit again. And then I got to reading the post and... Um, I thought Scott's response was poor. I think he made some good points in there, uh, but overall, I think it was a, a pretty poor response from Scott and pretty out of character 
for him, honestly. And before you come after me saying, John, Scott's post was great. What are you talking about? I just want to say that this is my opinion. <laughs> and uh, I'm allowed to have the opinion. And uh, I mean this with love. Like I said at the beginning, uh, no hate towards anyone. If you are sending hate to Scott Cawthon, like terrible stuff, please don't. Like, you don't belong in this community, and we're just having a discussion. That's all we're having. The main thing that I think was the issue with this post was parasocial relationships. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch Ludwig, uh, but he talks about parasocial relationships a lot. Basically, parasocial relationships and how this plays a role in this post is, is we don't really know Scott. Just like you don't really know me. You only know me from what I post on this YouTube channel, what I post on Twitter and Instagram, and I post a lot more than Scott Coffin does. So um, we really only know him from posts on Steam and Reddit and also from his donations to really great causes throughout the years, like Daco's charity streams and et cetera, et cetera. And about the donating to charity thing, a lot of people were justifying Scott's donations to these politicians by saying, well, he's donated this much to charity. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yes, it is crazy. And it is extremely amazing that, that Scott has donated some of his extreme wealth to, to great charities. But the reality of this, and I hope this doesn't offend you or anyone, but um, donating to charity doesn't make you free of making any mistakes and or even being a bad person. I don't think Scott's a bad person, but donating to charity doesn't all of a sudden make you this like God who can do no wrong. And I think Scott used uh, those things that he's done through the past seven years to his advantage in this post. And a lot of Scott's post was kind of shaming people for judging him so fast, uh, making it seem like we should have known better because of the things he's done the past seven years. And I feel like that's a little bit manipulative. Also, while looking through a ton of tweets during this weekend, I mean, I looked through probably most of the tweets under the hashtags and under the, the trending topic. Um, I noticed that a lot of the tweets, I, I would say most of the tweets are people saying, how dare you try and cancel Scott Cawthon? Don't cancel Scott Cawthon. He's a good guy. He has donated so much to charity and uh, he, he respects everyone. Do not cancel him. And I feel like a fewer number of those tweets were actual LGBTQ plus people who were reasonably upset about the situation. And a lot of those people were getting tacked for being upset about the situation, saying, you know, he's a good person. You don't know what you're talking about. And with that, yes, there were bad people on both sides. Uh, lots of people attacking each other for having an opinion. Kind of ironic. <laughs> and I think a lot of LGBTQ plus voices got silenced this weekend. And it was really disappointing to see that. People were so caught up in defending Scott for having an opinion that they were literally doing the thing that they were fighting against. I think there was no listening going on this weekend. I think both sides are to blame in this situation. It was kind of just a dumpster fire. And I think Scott threw some oil on the fire and said, well, this is it. I, I mean, if you don't accept this, I'm leaving. And um, I think that was a poor way to go about this. He kind of just said, well, if my past seven years of charity and, uh, and being nice to everyone hasn't proven enough to you that I'm a good person, then I guess I should retire because, you know, um, if they can take it away from you, it probably had no value to begin with. And that was really disappointing to hear from Scott. As someone who has looked up to him uh, since I was 14 years old, um, it was really disappointing. It seems like instead of trying to dampen the flames like Scott always does with every single situation, he just m made it kind of worse and then said, take it or leave it. You know, if I get canceled, I get canceled. Put politics in the spotlight instead of um, trying to make it not about politics, you know, and about love in general. And he did make great points in his in his post. I mean, I, I love that he treats everyone uh, equally and is kind to everyone. And he's, he's proven online, at least, that he does do that. And he's a very nice person. That's why we were all shocked uh, by these donations. He said something in his post about how the people he gave money to may not have the best things to say about LGBTQ plus people, uh, but he still thought they had those people's best interest in mind. And what I have to say to that is, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, 
it's probably a duck. <laughs> and it's been proven over and over again uh, that these people really do mean what they say. And there are a lot of people who are leaving the FNAF community that I've seen and I've talked to that um, just don't stand up for what Scott stands up for to a certain degree that they want to leave. And I think we should respect those people um, and respect their opinions just like we should respect Scott's opinion and my opinion and everyone's opinion. People are allowed to be upset about this, and um, I don't think anyone should be attacked for having that opinion. I think this was a lot more hyped up because Scott said that he might retire because of this, and he might never post on the Reddit because of this, and um, I think that was just a poor, poor move to make. If his time on the internet and his career ends because of politics, and because we have different opinions, it, that is just so dumb. <laughs> to conclude, um, I do not think, based on the things I've seen of him and not knowing him other than knowing his online presence, that Scott is a bad person. I do not think that Scott is a bad person. I just think that he is misguided. I'm glad that Scott treats everyone as equals and is obviously kind to everyone he meets, no matter who they are. Um, it was just really disappointing to see this type of post from a guy that I've looked up to for seven years now. And I needed to say that I do not um, agree with Scott and the actions that he's taken and the way he went about the situation. I stand with everyone who was justifiably upset about this, and I stand with everyone who isn't justifiably upset about this. I do not stand by anyone who is spreading hate to people on either side. And I obviously don't uh, stand by people who are doing those terrible things like doxing and, and death threats that is inhumane. Please get off the internet if you're doing that. As far as the future of this channel, I'm going to continue talking about FNAF. FNAF has been a part of a huge chunk of my life. Um, I love FNAF. It is not my whole life. I have a, a world outside of FNAF. I suck at Minecraft Bed Wars, but you know, we're, we're still trying our best. But I really do believe in separating the creator from the creation. Um, that doesn't mean Scott's work is going away. His legacy is gone. I love you guys. I love this community and I'm so thankful for everything you have done for me. You have changed my life in the best way possible. And I know a lot of people get joy from watching my videos and I get so many nice messages uh, about how my videos make people's days and I just would feel terrible stopping that. Maybe not talking about Scott Cawthon as much. Um, if it's in the news, I'll report the news and leave my opinion out of it, uh, just so you guys are up to date. But yeah, uh, that is the future of the channel and my opinion on the Scott thing. Uh, my thoughts were kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, I never thought I'd have to make a video like this, uh, but I thought it was important. And I want to stick up for the LGBTQ plus members of my community and of the FNAF community. So remember, Spread love. Don't spread hate. We will get past this. Everything will be okay. Everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.